We ask God. We ask God for things. And do we believe He hears us and answers? I have what may not seem like a very profound experience, but it was so profound to me, not because of its simplicity and seeming unimportance to some. I have a little thing. I love coffee. I love coffee. And I, I like it when it's done slowly and done right. I don't like instant business. So forgive me. There's this little thing called a drip cup. It allows you to do one little cup of coffee in this slow process, like a brewing. And Gina, my daughter, had this little plastic drip cup, and it would be so convenient. And sometimes when I wanted to use it, she was using it. And I was like, and sometimes I get to use it before her, and she's upset because she wants to do her coffee. I went to the States the other day, and I said, I'm going to buy one for myself. And I searched and I searched and I went to a number of stores. It sounds, it sounds kind of trivial, don't it? Yes. But just bear with me. And I went and I couldn't find it. And I researched on the internet and I found somewhere in I just didn't get a chance. Mm. But my host, Anna Atkinson, and Philip, they knew I was looking for it, but it just didn't work for me. Came out to Jamaica. I saw that book. I just thought it was rescue Regina to get the thing <laughs> You know the testimony last week about God detaining us? <laughs> All right. I, I came back and Gina went up to the stairs. I didn't remember anything about this dream call. She came back the night, the next morning. I go into the kitchen and she's not there. And I go and I seize her drip cup and I put it on mine and I'm starting to brew my coffee. And I'm there thinking, Lord, if I had remembered, I would have asked her to bring this thing back for me. As I thought that thought, Gina comes around the corner with a brand new porcelain, top of the line, drip cup, and says, Auntie Anna sent this for you as a gift. Far more than that, would have paid because I wouldn't have bought poor skin or <laughs> But you know, the object lesson from the Lord, I was there thinking of what I should have done and would have asked if I had remembered what God had me in mind. Amen. And as I thought about it, the answer came. She could have given me up the night when she came. But she didn't. But God allowed it so that he would teach me a lesson. The scripture that says in, in Isaiah 65, while you are yet asking, I will answer. Amen? Amen. God is in the business. And this might be a trivial example, but in more serious and important things, God is in the habit of having the answer to your prayers. To have had that answer come at that time, it didn't start the moment I asked or thought about the desire for this cup. God had put it in motion from when I visited, when I had the desire, from when Anna and the whole of that was put in motion days before my thought, so that when my thought was that I would want this thing, the answer was right there for me. And that is the God that we serve. And that's the God we must begin to put our trust in. That he will do what he desires. To bless us according to his will and for his glory. Amen. Yeah. Yeah.